that's that's good character development. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Heart Season 2, Episode 17. In this episode, god damn, this episode's still really good. Is it a bit dramatic? Is it a bit like kind of a soap opera, which they in fact make fun of? Yeah, but this is like watching a Grey's Anatomy, like a premium Grey's Anatomy, but it's supernatural. And I'm going to explain what I mean in a second. This episode has the brothers hunting down a werewolf in a city in San Francisco. This big rich boss guy is ripped up, which admittedly actually has some pretty good prosthetic effects in terms of FX, like actual like makeup and whatnot. They talk to his assistant, who was the last person who saw him live, which is Madison. She tells them about a stalker and they kind of think maybe that guy's the werewolf. One guy goes out and watches him, which being Dean, after losing in a game of rock, paper, scissors. And then Sam stays with Madison for the night. Turns out that in fact, her stalker is not actually the werewolf Madison is in fact. First really good little twist. The other really good part about this episode is the relationship between Sam and Madison. This kind of relationship writing has never been this good in this show. It got close. It got close. In terms of all of the romantic characters that Sam has known, sure Ruby is probably the most interesting one, but Madison is the best one. One. This girl has left such an impression on us all after just one episode. And to see what she did in this episode with Sam after he finds out that she's a werewolf, he changes completely. He goes into work mode. He starts to treat her like a monster. And that connection that between the two of them that had been established earlier, like when they were watching the soap opera episode, which, by the way, small little pause here, relationship removed, that is exactly like my one of my roommates and I when she's watching Grey's Anatomy. It's trash. It's such goddamn trash but I can't stop watching it if it's on I'll watch it it's drivel but it's medical drivel obviously things aren't good Madison thinks that Sam is crazy while Sam is trying to figure out a way to not kill this girl even though he just met her Dean is right ready to blow her away but they want to try something for Sam's sake prove that they can possibly destroy the bloodline that maybe by doing that they'll save her not like how in season 14 where they erased this shit. That's still one of the worst retcons this show ever did. And you want to know why this episode matters so much? Because it showed that the brothers could fail. Not just in terms of saving the world, but even just saving one person. It makes their job so much harder when they can't just save one. It made stakes. It created tension. It made you care. That night, Sam's able to slam her in the closet and keep, keep her in there, even though she tears up all the walls, which, by the way, is a great production design reveal. Really good for doing visual storytelling. And then Dean goes and kills the original werewolf, who is her neighbor, who is the only bad part about this episode. I have a feeling that there might have been a story note. When Dean kills Greg and he's like, Ooh, where am I? Who am I? He should have just gotten the same exact kind of feeling that Madison's going through. Madison doesn't know she's turning into a werewolf. Why? Why does Greg not know? They kind of make a point of trying to cover this with a primal note, like him being a primal thought to be with Madison. It kind of hides it, but I really think that Dean has this mode of shit, we haven't saved her. And it makes that little story nugget even more ripe. Then they find out that they can't do anything and Madison's just like, yeah, sure, kill me. That's the way we gotta do it. And Sam doesn't want to, and he walks into the kitchen. The shooting's so good. Great use of shadows and lighting work in this episode really harkens back to a few episodes from season one. The emotion between the two, yes, it's dramatic. Yes, it's soap operaic, but it's so good. Music's a great choice for the background. Dean giving him the gun. Sam having this one last look of outer pain in much shorter time than you would think because when he fires that gunshot, the music even cuts and the episode ends. This episode is really good. I really enjoy it. However, it's a bit over dramatic. And then the whole Greg kind of story part that I feel wasn't in, allowed into the episode, it prevents me from giving this episode the rating that I think it deserves. I can't, I can't because it's just soap opera. And if I do it, I'm going to just feel guilty about it considering the class of what I put sevens at. So in the end, I'm going to give Heart a 6 out of 7. It's one of my favorite episodes of the show. I'm not going to deny it. That's probably the most supernatural squee I have ever admitted in all of my reviews.
And like always, I asked you guys what your comments were on Heart, so here are the best ones I could find from what you guys told me. I love Heart for a variety of reasons. Sam always winning Rock, Paper, Scissors until Season 6 is hilarious. The effects of the werewolf were simple without all the hair. If it was your typical werewolf of all the hair, I don't think the audience would have felt attached to Madison. This is also the first time we see one of the brothers having to put down a monster that they were close to and go through it all. Definitely one of the best episodes to show romantic tension. The end scene shoots my heart every time. I'll see myself out now. Definitely the emotional tension to Madison definitely really cemented that emotional heartbreak that the end of the episode ends with. One of the better things about the earlier seasons was that the monster felt like a threat and that they felt important to compare to now. Heart, I remember, made me cry when I first saw it because I felt super bad and even worse when they discovered the cure to help Claire not to be a werewolf or was a vampirism. I felt that Sam had good chemistry with the actress who was also on Smallville with Jensen, LOL Vancouver actor life. I feel episodes like this made us, the audience, if not the character, wonder if all the monsters were evil because be or before they just assumed that they were. This one and the vampire intro episode. I wonder if it occurred to Sam that she was in purgatory when she went there in later seasons. That is a good point, actually. She would definitely be in purgatory. I'm happy that they didn't bring her back when they went to purgatory because of all the actors who have a one episode lineage on this show, she has one of the best ones and I don't want that tarnished. Honestly, this is an episode I initially forgot about, but after rewatching it, damn. Ah, the good old days where not everything had an out and emotional loss actually kept me invested. I thought this episode was an excellent way to parallel Sam's difficulty killing Madison with Dean's own decision to kill his brother. The last scene was really well done. From the brother's talk, Jared's tears, to the off-screen gunshot and Jensen's own wince slash tear. Obviously, the threat level wasn't huge. The male werewolves barely get any screen time and is tracked down and killed no problem, with the boys even admitting that they already know how to kill a werewolf. But unlike more recent episodes where nothing seems like a big deal anymore, at least this episode makes up for the easy hunt, with a solid moral dilemma showing us not all monsters are evil and character building that actually made me a little teary at the end. And yes, that does relate to my kind of my one criticism of this episode is how easy it is for them to find the werewolf. Like, my god, can you imagine actually trying to do this in a city? This would be so hard to do. Maybe I'm alone on this one, but I don't love Heart as much as everyone else does. Anytime a relationship or any kind of romance occurs in the show or movie I watch, I tend to check out because it just gets in the way of what the protagonist should be doing. For example, in the Thor movies, Natalie Portman's character is just there to be the love address and prevents Thor from being Thor. But in Ragnarok, he's allowed to just be Thor because he's not in a relationship. Sam and Madison clearly have an attraction towards each other, but I truly don't couldn't care less. However, with saying all that, Heart is a really good episode. The end scene where Sam has to kill Madison is very emotional and still makes me tear up a bit, but not only is Madison being submissive, but there's just no other option. I, I see where you're coming from with the Thor comment, however, this is not like that. This isn't a romance for romance sake. This is an episode that actually creates some attention, creates some form of moral ground, and then they snatch it away. Something I forgot to say during my review is that he sees her as another Jess. He sees her as a chance to redeem himself, and the fact that he has to put her down again immediately after, he's like, man, I just lost Jess, now I lose Madison, everyone I love dies. It really cemented that Sam's just fucked for life. Next episode is Hollywood Babylon, an episode that was shot at Northridge Studios, which I worked at for a couple of months. Tell you guys about that area as well as the episode itself. So make sure to give me your comments about that episode and I'll choose the best comments and read them in that episode. That's all for me guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Anyways, stay safe, wash your hands. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.